All right, I'm at Ricky's house. I heard he got some more stuff without telling me. I got some business to take care of. Oh, Ricky. I have something for you. Are you in there? What have I done? How could I do this to my best friend? He's my best friend in the world. He does have a lot of video games. And I would probably be in the will for him. All right, this is great. Good morning, guys. It's um, Saturday morning and it is not our normal time. Um, the swap meet was soaking wet. We all woke up at like 6 a.m. and texted each other because it was pouring rain and said, forget it. So we're going to try some Goodwills. Um, same one we were at a couple weeks ago. So hopefully they got some new stuff. We're like the first people here. So Sweet. we'll see. Yeah. You guys excited? Everybody? Yeah. yeah. Seven bucks, that's not that bad. Dreamcast, even though we have one, it's like one of the best underrated systems. VHS playback. Yes. <laughs> well, not bad so far, at least they have some game stuff. What? Oh, it does happen. Oh, yay! Did I just sound like a man? Oh, yay! Oh, it will do. Alright, see, the trick, I guess, is to come early. I guess so. Dude, this is great. Morning. Happy good morning to me. We go to this Goodwill a lot and film here a lot, but today, we got told no more. Excuse me. <laughs> Good little myth debunked right there. Okay, so the whole Goodwill thing about how Goodwill sucks now, um, we kind of believed that a little bit here and there, but until not today. We were the first people in there. Holy crap. We'll show you guys later. I picked up about 15 games. Ricky picked up a system, quite a few games, Nintendo booklets. And we scored on the price um, by talking to this really nice lady. So we're super excited. We'll show you guys that later. We're going to go eat. Here you were. I don't want to spend you to spend too much money on all your games. I was going to get Moonwalker. Sega <laughs> Genesis. We? The way we scored just now, good well is something it doesn't even happen much at the swap meet getting like a box given to you of Genesis games and looking at it and complete games and not basic titles all good games all pretty expensive games yeah the stuff from Ricky got the Dreamcast with controllers with BMUs with everything for like six dollars and stuff like that so we can't stop smiling we're celebrating with the sour Joe Joe Jeff I got tacos Ricky got tacos because it's Mexican it's true all right, so while we're at lunch, we're doing a little looking on Craigslist for some video games. Ricky just found Castlevania Dracula X. Let's see if we can get a good deal on this one. He just, he, yeah, he wanted like 400 for everything. I was like, oh, oh. what? For what? Super Famicom. Konnichiwa, konnichiwa. Super Nintendo. Dracula, uh, Dracula, Castlevania Dracula X. Turtles in Time. Uh, Zelda. Uh, Link to the past. I think he had Mario All Stars. Did he say for just the games? No, he's like, uh, I gotta text you about the games. 
He's like, I'm, he's like, I'm looking to look for 400. I'm like, but he's like, eh, just, he's like, I don't care. Shoot me an offer. I was like, I'm not. Yeah, you're, you're gonna get a, a fifty dollar offer from me or a hundred dollar offer, <laughs> not but anything close to what you're thinking. That's I mean, the whole point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pay retail. Uh huh. It's pointless. Oh, oh sorry guys. No Dracula X. That would've been sweet though. All right, guys. So right now we're at the Santa Ana Goodwill. Supposedly really big. It's got a, its own electronic section. Let's see what we'll find. Yeah, let's go. That's pretty cool. It's just NBA Jam, but it's cool for Sega CD. And that is literally all we found at that Goodwill. Alright, so one more place before we go home today. Uh, Games for Less. Um, they're going out of business. Um, I, don't, I don't think they'll care if we film since they're going out of business. So everything's 50 to 30% off. So Let's see. Dude, these are all at the Golden West Swap Meet, like this. Yeah, they are. <laughs> all the Sealed and Sinks and Pam Anderson games. Those are rare. It's gonna be me. This is a really good game. Which one? Rolling Thunder. Ah. This is a lot like um, Cody and Viper. But I hear for a lot of people it's more fun. Two, Godzilla. Good game. Super Glove Ball. Destination Earth Star. It's like a shooter. Dude, these are like the ones I don't have. Yeah. Let's see how much bumping job. Good condition. Yeah. Godzilla. That's fun. Xenophobe. <laughs> this game's terrible, but if you don't have it, then that's fun. No. I want to get fun games. Fun games? Fun games. Well, step right up. Ricky and I were very thankful and excited to be getting such good deals at this place. But at the same time, it's really sad when you see a cool retro video gaming store close down and go out of business. Last time on the NES Pursuit. Hey guys, um, we are working on our game room again today. I am not with Ricky, he is working. I'm with my good buddy Andy right here. I swear, every time I record my phone goes off. Um, yeah, we're gonna work on the game room right now and we're at Home Depot, just a little update. And uh, I'm a little short on money, but we'll see how I do. So, see you guys in a minute. Ah, the shed is coming together quite nicely. If you guys want any tips or advice on how to do this in your own room, please, for the love of mercy, don't do what we're doing. What am I doing? I have a little word of advice for you guys. If you guys are ever putting drywall up on the ceiling, make sure you have some extra screws or an extra screw gun somewhere where you can reach them. Okay, I'm done showing this. I'm just embarrassing myself.
Hey, you guys. Aaron and, and Ricky. Ricky here. Um, first of all, we just wanted to say uh, thanks to everybody for all the support. We just uh, keep checking our face. Uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, our YouTube. And every time we check, we're pretty excited on you guys. There's some really cool people out there. Also, in this episode, we debunked the myth of the bad Goodwills because... That is true. It was a wild morning. As you guys saw, they made us turn off the camera so we couldn't show the games we got and stuff too much. I think we mentioned a few of them while we were eating and stuff, but we get to show them to you guys actually now, so... Yeah. It's going to be cool. As usual, Ricardo, feel free to... Um, Ricky Ricardo. Ricky Ricardo. <laughs> Run to start us out, Ricky. All right, I'll start off with the Goodwill stuff. First thing is... We got a backup Dreamcast with the black controller because I really wanted it. it. Comes with all the memory cards and everything, the VMU and all that. So that's cool. Oh, it was awesome. awesome. All right, so I got Last Battle, which is great. Awesome. Sonic, and then they threw in these for free. A bunch of just random yeah, NES that's cool. like, little pamphlets, little Tecmo Bowl booklet and stuff. So that's cool. NBA Jam for the Sega CD. I don't have one yet, but. When I do, I'll have a game for it. Yeah, we don't have a Sega CD, which we want one, even though we know it's not that great, but we just want one to have one. Just to have one. Pretend it's a game. Challenge set. Ten bucks. That's awesome. It was awesome. Honestly, just to have something from there was pretty cool. That's really cool, actually. They threw this in for free. I didn't have it, so as you guys know, I got the mouse. Yeah, the mouse pad for Super Mario Paint. And then I got... I know I got this one already, but this is the original one, Golden Axe. He did have the Sega Classic box before, but no, I wanted the, this one. The better box. <laughs> uh, dance Aerobics. Yeah, for that game sucks. Dance Aerobics. It's terrible. <laughs> it's just to have it. It was a buck. World Class Track Meet. That's buck. not bad. Everyone cheated with that game. Yeah. You know, we all got on the floor and like pounded the <laughs> feet power pad. No. Yeah. Shut up, you cheated. Uh, Godzilla. No, I did not get it for that price. It was actually way cheaper. Godzilla! Run! It's Godzilla! Destination Earth Star. Is that Earth Star? Yeah. I have played that. It's pretty fun. It's uh, pretty good. Uh, it's not amazing, but it's, yeah. it's cool. We're like NES fanboys, as you guys noticed. So, I mean, anytime yeah. it's an NES game, we normally say it's pretty good regardless because... We can't say bad things about them. Yeah. Defender 2. It was... It was good. It wasn't... It was okay. Let's just say it was okay. It was great. Great. The greatest game ever. I got a Game Boy Advance game, which is actually pretty fun. Final Fight 1. If you haven't pl if you like Final Fight, it's pretty good. I, I would admit. say that was honestly amazing. I haven't played it before. I just played it at Ricky's house. And I thought it was awesome. It's just like the Super Nintendo one. It's, it's the great. graphics, the, the everything. sound, everything is pretty impressive for the Game Boy Advance. Then I got Lagoon for five bucks, boxed, complete, complete in box, which neither of us have played it yet. No. But there was a price tag on it for 30 bucks, and like we said, they're going out of business, so he said, hey, take it for five bucks. So he said, sweet. <laughs> I don't have a Famicom, but I have the converter for the Famicom to play NES games on it. Yeah, that's cool, man. It was three we don't bucks. have a Famicom. So if you have one, just can't send it to us. I think that guy, <laughs> uh, Kid Sure You Can, has one. Send us one. <laughs> now. Just kidding. Okay, my turn. Um, this was at the same place, Games for Less. Uh, Fester's Quest manual. The guy gave it to me. I asked how much. He said, take it. I said... Because we bought stuff. Yeah. Uh, Page Master, complete in box for Genesis, which I haven't played. Um, it's one player. I do know that. And um, I'm excited to play it. Yeah, it's sealed. It's okay. Yeah, it's... Well, the bottom's kind of cut, but whatever. Sealed. This is factory sealed, 100%. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein for the Super Nintendo. And I have played this before. Obviously, not this one. But um, I've played this before and I really do enjoy it. I don't know if a lot of people do or not. I don't listen to reviews on it, but I really enjoyed it. I like dark games a lot. Okay, now here's why I debunked the whole Goodwill myth of Goodwill being bad. Um, I don't know how much time we have, but I don't care. Um, we went there and they told us not to film. And then when we went to the front, the lady was actually really nice that checked us out and asked us what we do and we told her we game, we have YouTube and stuff. And she said, Someone just brought a box over of, you know, Genesis games. Check them out. So I checked them out, and um, here's what was in them, most of them. Um, the first five I will show you weren't in that box, but um, Star Wars... Star Wars? Star Wars! Star Wars! Star Wars Rebel Assault 2. It's the greatest hits, but whatever. Um, Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoons. I love this. I love the, the style, too, of the graphics on it. 
Crazy Taxi. Everybody loves Crazy Taxi. Yeah. Everybody. Um, Silent Hill 2, one of my favorite games of all time. One of my favorite. I, didn't I love that favorite. music, though. That is epic. S Silent Hill, to me, is, is really big to me. I don't know if you guys know that, but it's, it's one of my favorite things. Actually, this guy got me into it. So. Yeah. Um, awesome. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Um, all these were a buck 99, and I don't know if you guys know, I was very hard into skateboarding for like 10 years of my life. It was literally my life. And when I wasn't skateboarding, I was playing these games. So, um, now here's what I got in the box um, from the lady. It was labeled like 60 bucks for the whole box, and there was like two games in there I didn't want, so the manager came over and said, you can have them for like two bucks each, and they're all complete in box. This is the only one I haven't played of all of them. Mick and Mac Global Gladiators. Um, I'm guessing it's like a, what do you call it, like planet environmental thing. So It's Captain Planet. It's Captain Planet, <laughs> but with Mick and Mac, the little kids. Yeah, those kids are pretty lame, actually, on the cover. Um, Kid Chameleon, which I do like. I know it's a little frustrating. If you guys want to see a good review on it, check out a Retrospective Perspective. He did a full review on this, a really good one. That's the other thing that makes this game so challenging, is just the sheer length. There's all kinds of secret ways to make it through, but you never know how far along you actually are. General Chaos, I haven't played for a long time. I did when I was younger. Um, I liked it, actually. It's uh, not usually my type of game, but... I liked it. I think there's like no way to, or I don't know, I might be wrong. I think when I was a kid, I don't remember beating him. I think it like kept restarting or something. What, so. like Ghosts and Goblins? Oh god, <laughs> not that brutal. Uh, check this out, guys. Mutant League Football, complete in box, 100%. This is awesome, you guys. Two bucks for something like this is insane, as most it's of you guys cool. know who collect. Yeah. yeah. Um, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, you guys. Complete in <laughs> box, two dollars. Come on, give me a break. At a Goodwill. Um, this is really fun. I think it's, I don't know if it's underrated, but I don't hear too much about it. It's where he dances in the middle of nowhere, right? Yeah, you can literally call on a power move. When all, no matter who's fighting you, they stop and have to dance, so. I do remember that game. That's how it is, though, with real Michael Jackson songs. If you think about it, if you hear one, you kind of have to dance. <laughs> even if you don't want to. Um, Altered Beast, classic as we saw in the Faceless games. <laughs> this is like their third me one. Me and Ricky were like overexcited to play this, Ooh. so. Yeah. Um, Streets of Rage. Um, very awesome. Love this game. I know Sega fans have like a cult following for these type of games, you know, yeah. as opposed to the Super Nintendo Final Fight people. So, but I, I enjoy both. It's I, fun. They're both fun. I honestly. love this. And the one I like even better than Streets of Rage, my last thing is Streets of Rage 2. <laughs> so, um, very fun. Uh, yeah, if you guys haven't played them, that's interesting they haven't played them. Yeah. I think everybody has. Something else, you guys, make sure, as always, I say, go on Facebook, like us. The links are in the description below. If you guys don't see them, click on the show more, and they'll be down there. Um, GameStraight81.com, you guys. Um, like the videos. It helps. The support um, means a lot to us. Yeah. Comment on the videos. Tell us anything. Ask us anything. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I answer to every single person that comments. Every. <laughs> Sometimes I don't check it per day, and there's like 150 new comments, and I answer to them. He does. Because I love you guys. It's the whole reason we do it, you guys, to be a part of the community. It, to me, some people are like, oh my gosh, that's a big deal. You guys are commenting back to all of them. But to me, that's the whole reason we're doing this show. I don't it's know. actually cool that people comment back. Yeah, it's like, I don't know I know any other reason why we do this. So share it with your friends, too, you guys. If you have friends that are gamers, retro gamers, new gen gamers, tell them about us. Post it on your Facebook or something. That'd be really cool. It'd mean a lot to us. And if you have not subscribed, do it because we do put out new videos every, every single week. week. And if for some reason, I want to make sure I say this, if for some reason it's like raining a weekend or we're super low on money because we go so much, uh, we'll do something different. You know, whether it's us playing a stupid game, um, we kind of want to start doing some top 10 lists, you know, top 10 NES yeah. games, Super Nintendo games, best shoot 'em ups, whatever, in case we can't make it to the spot meet that weekend. So it's a very active channel. So join us or die. <laughs> you won't <laughs> die. But that's it for now. You know what? I'm not going to slap you. It's a handshake this time. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Stay thirsty, my friends. <laughs>